Alright, today's video got myself an ultra gauge for my 2004 Saturn Ion. This car has a very basic gauge package temperature, fuel, speedometer, trip meter, and tack. That's it. I mean, you don't even get two trip meters on this thing, you only get one. See? That's it. There's not even a trip A and B, so really basic, basic package. So I got myself an ultra gauge right here. I have one of these in my Mustang. There you go, right here, brand new. In fact, I'm gonna plug it in right now. So it just goes into the OB2 port. Let's see. Plug this in, find that first. So, where is it at? Okay. Oh, okay, right there. Just plug this in and it should find it since the car's on. Plug this in right here. Okay. There you go. It's finding it right now. Let me take it out of the plastic. Sugar free. It has uh, amino acids and glutamine, all the good stuff. I don't drink monsters or anything. Okay. There you go. Hold on one second. Okay, it found it. First it says uh, set fuel tank size. You know what, let me grab the little instruction manual for this car now. Hold on one second. Okay, fuel tank on this car. 13.5 gallons right there so I got this set at 13.5 right there so there you go now set engine size this is a 2.2 2.2 small engine four banger There. Yeah, this is for cars that are uh, 96. This works on anything that's a 96 or newer. I don't know if it works on all diesels. Uh. Okay, what did I say? Oh, well, a 2.2? Okay, hold on. Okay, almost there. 2.2. Two. All right. Okay. All right. Never use a manual drive. Yeah, don't do that. Don't text and drive either. That's why everyone should drive a manual, so you're focused on the task of driving. Okay. This is the um, the default setting right now. So I'm gonna change all this. Hold on. In fact, let me uh, go to the menu. Let's see what kind of options we have on this. I know what I want already. I want the voltage, miles per gallon, the instantaneous, the average. It's most of that stuff is here. The the car's temperature. So I'm going to go set up these gauges right now. I think you could display up to 6. What the? Alarm for what? All right, let me figure this out. Let me... um get the settings I want so it's showing six right I think you could get show up to eight all right let's do this okay eight pages is too much for this car I don't need eight pages so what I did instantaneous average gallons left gallons used engine temperature and voltage that's all I needed I mainly got this for instantaneous average engine temperature and the voltage the level gallons and gallons used that's just a bonus but i'm a stat freak and i bought this car for fuel economy so i wanted this set up i'll go ahead and show you guys the other options you could use all kinds of options on this okay this thing reads data off your car's computer your car's ecu so whatever stats are important to you just go ahead and choose them Position number five, that's coolant. I like to know my car's coolant temperature. There's some more right there. 
air intake that's probably important if you have a supercharged or turbo charged car same with the boost pressure number one position for me instantaneous mpg and then number two is the uh, average mpg for number four i used the gallons used option the fuel level left for number three there's more options like almost too many and then service miles you know if you could keep track of how many miles you've gone on this current oil change number six battery voltage that's important to me so that's the gauges available for this car so there you go so what I'm gonna do right now head to the gas station give this thing a full tank of gas so to start keeping track of everything and calibrate this thing okay I'm at the gas station right now so I'm gonna start calibrating this thing when I plugged it in it just defaulted to a full tank of gas so I'm going to zero everything out, have half a tank, I'm going to zero this out to get an accurate reading. But the voltage, 14.3, 198, or 195 temperature, average 24.9, i got to calibrate all this, so let's go ahead and give this car a full tank of gas. Okay, full tank of gas, zeroed out trip meter, and zeroed out the gauges. I'm gonna mount it right here. It's kind of low, but it's the it's the cleanest spot to put it. I don't wanna. Uh, it looks it'll look like crap if I put it here because of the wire. So we'll just put it down here, and it's perfect because I'm at Walmart right now. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm gonna head down there and get some supplies to mount this thing. All right, sorry about the stupid chime, man. Just does that when the door's open. Okay, so this is it. This is easy. I'm just gonna run the wire under here. Probably tape it, some Gorilla tape under here, and then just hide it in here. Stick the fuse panel right over it. So it's gonna be a little wire sticking out here, which isn't too bad. All right, let's go ahead and get some supplies to finish this up. Okay, I'm home. I traveled 5.6 miles. According to this, I'm getting 29.9 miles per gallon. That's pretty good because in my Cobra, I'm getting like 12. My Z06 is like 14, and my Econoline's like 10. So here's where I mounted it. It's all right. It's not too offensive. It's pretty clean. And you can straighten it out a little bit because it's on a Velcro, so not bad spot right there. Kind of low in relation to the gauges up there, but cleanest spot. So once I fill this for the first time with the scan gauge, it'll calibrate everything. When you add fuel, it asks you exactly how much fuel you added, so it'll calibrate the MPG properly, but according to this, 29 Point two, it's idling right now, so I'm just going to turn it off. There you go. So there you have it. Scan gauge, or ultra gauge, installed. It's off. So I'll do an update video once I refuel this thing. Alright everyone, kick ass, be safe, and take it easy.